New Jersey. You can't pump your own gas. Go figure. <laughs>what's up guys I'm Dan H and welcome to the project I'm here with my Jeep commander and it's all fixed no no it's not fixed just kidding I don't think I could fix that one but uh I went down to Alloway New Jersey took a three-hour drive met my new friend Myron and I just bought a new one this is a 2009 Jeep commander overland exact same exterior color and check this out we got a special one off pimp edition you can't have a conscience in the pimp game so now i got my new jeep commander pimp edition and i'm gonna take the proper steps to uh get myself a complete whole new commander just like the one i had and uh this baby is gonna be my platform now we got a little bit of damage right here as you can see got a little punch right there looks like it hit a trailer hitch we got a grill that's a little a little wonky, but check this out. The coveted HID projection lights that came factory and uh, special editions and, uh, well, pimp editions actually. Uh, this whole body looks pretty good. Unfortunately, we got a little ding right there. Uh, the hood that I have has a ding in the exact same spot from that horrible accident. But the front bumper we can replace. Check this thing out. We got tow hooks. I think mine did not have tow hooks, so we finally got tow hooks on a Commander. Uh, driver's side door is pretty good. The rear door has got a little bit of scratches. I think we're going to do a door swap. Uh, got a little bit of dings over there. Got a little dent right here. So we'll see if we can fix all that stuff. Heck, maybe I'll just get some armor. A giant, big ass rear bumper. So this thing will not get rear-ended the way the other one did but uh that's it we got ourselves a new commander on the project i am stoked we're gonna actually build this one check out the interior we got ourselves some taupe mixed with khaki we got the classic overland logo right there i really want to put my whole black interior in this thing so i think we'll do that but my favorite part about this commander is Quadra Drive 2, the best four wheel drive system ever made. Let's take another look. It's the interior of the commander. Pretty clean. We've got the taupe, we've got the khaki. Hopefully, soon it'll be black. Everything's the same as my commander, so everything will be a direct swap. Yeah. Let's uh let's go around and pop the hood. There she be, 5.7 V8. We got ourselves a Hemi in here. Just want to check a few things. Oh, we got a full of coolant. I usually use the Xerox G02. This looks green. Uh, let's see. Hopefully that water pump ain't leaking like mine was. You never know. I got a fresh one ready to go because I bought a new water pump right before mine got crashed. But she's running nice and cool. Tick tock ticking. Here we got the uh, wonky grill still. But I got to put in my grill. She'll be fine. Look at that. Looking good. So we're going to go in here into this Wawa, get some supplies, and continue our drive. Check out what we got. We got some wiper fluid. Good old stuff right there, the blue. Uh, got some antifreeze. Now this is 50-50. I never get 50-50. Uh, the only motor oil they had was 10W30. These 5.7s, I usually put 5W20 in, full synthetic. Uh, <laughs> I was a little disappointed in the Wawa selection, but what are you gonna do? And I got some injector cleaner. And of course, the 16 ounce Red Bull. Uh, it came to, geez, 45 something or other dollars. So uh, that's gonna go on the Dan H account. But um, let me show you one of my favorite features about the Commander you guys might not know. There we go, back under the hood. Check out the windshield wiper reservoir. You ready for this? When it comes time to fill, pop up that cap, take off this cap. And what you do is you just dunk it 
straight in and this little groove right here holds this bottle up for you so you just do that and walk away and while this is draining you could go over here to this bad boy and look oh does this have it come on tell me it's here yes you guys might not know that this is supposed to slide up there you go this helps you pour <laughs> now let me know if your Grand Cherokees and your Patriots compasses similar year Jeeps have this kind of feature I absolutely love this it's little known and underappreciated all right just gonna throw these in the back here now I'll probably never use this on a commander you don't want to put thicker oil in these Hemis because it needs a thinner oil to run the MDS system that multiple displacement system we'll go ahead and close the hatch that works nicely you know what I love the commander hatch because look you can override well maybe you can't there we go you can override the mechanical one and it goes up and down freely and then you could re-engage the gears and it'll shut on its own now a lot of other vehicles I know my Ford Explorer you could not override it once uh, once the gear is engaged it's a uh, winding the gear up and down every time you push it down hard this it becomes a free gear again so I will <laughs> almost put that in the gas tank just go ahead hmm this didn't have the safety little peel away thing uh, looks all right we'll clean out the injectors we'll reset our gas mileage see how we do on the way home add to a full or empty tank at or before refill <laughs> Clean up our trash, and off we go. Hit the road, baby. There we go. Nice, beastie 5.7 Hemi. Hey, look at that. I refresh rate of the camera is making that spaz out. Solid on my end, though. We're good. 206,778 miles. are heading home so far so good everything is nice and smooth huge shout out to uncle george and aunt michelle our uh, family from alabama they were up here staying with us just happened to bum a ride with them jumped in on their way down back home and they dropped me off in jersey on the way back and uh, able to drive this thing home hence me alone and no following vehicles and i'm not towing it so yeah thanks uncle george again appreciate it so far so good guys i think i'm gonna make a little stop you might like this one hopefully it works out well a little backstory is we're supposed to go to the polar plunge this year I'm gonna jump in with uh doug and eric from dna in the garage but uh we had family coming up uncle george was here decided not to go this year and uh well the whole commander thing happened where somebody mashed my commander so, so Ended up in South Jersey anyway, and uh, I was reminded that today is the Polar Plunge. I'm going to be passing it on the way home, so I'm going to go to Seaside Heights, New Jersey, and uh, I'm going to see if we can see my buddy Doug, and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. goodness this place is crazy i forgot how wild this was this is a good time out here we are freezing for a reason oh man let me find a parking spot now we'll walk around a little bit see if i can find doug there is no parking the whole city jammed up <laughs> seaside heights is full there's no room 
Any room? No room? Ah! I want to park so I can have some fun. There we go. Room for one more Jeep? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 20 bucks to park. I'm probably going to be here for like five minutes. It's 28 degrees. I'm going to freeze my ass off. I won't be able to find Doug, and I'm just going to leave. <laughs> oh, we're going off road in the commander first day. How about that? I'm freezing. I'm not even going in the water this year. <sighs> Can't find Doug. I'm going to. Oh, look for the dude in the shorts. He's always wearing shorts. <laughs> We're at the beach, right? You wear shorts to the beach. Oh, you're going in, all right. Just called Eric. He said he's going to try to get in touch with him for me. And uh, we'll see what happens. Definitely not lasting long. Too many people! Can't find Doug! I'm bailing! Not gonna work! It's so cold! Whirly birds everywhere! Well, I struck out with finding Doug, but that's fine with me. It started snowing. <laughs> it's too cold for this. I'm not even doing it. What am I doing here? I don't know, man. So, all right. I guess we'll get this thing home. And uh, Doug, I owe you a collaboration, so we'll meet up soon. All right, brother. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we are now at a speedway. We're about halfway home. Figured we'd top off the gas tank while we're in Jersey, enjoying the nice cheap fuel prices. We went ahead and got ourselves the right oil. We got ourselves five W20 Pennzoil Platinum. This is what I usually use. Good old Pepsi, Sour Patch Kids, of course. Some more Octane Boost, WD-40, and new car smell to go with my brand new car. This is how you properly open an air freshener and you just expose a little freshness at a time. There we go, look at this. That other bottle should have had this peely thing. There we go. Now it's ready to go. Drink. Do the drinking. Drinky, drinky, drinky. Drinky, drinky, drinky. about 15.7 miles per gallon and that is with a heavy foot a 5.7 hemi and new york city stop and go traffic so that is not too bad not too bad for the old girl let's see gotta adjust some tire pressure when i get home i'll fill this thing up let's see what else 166 miles to empty so we went through a 
tank, one tank of gas. I did uh, filler ups and then did a half a tank and then a filler up and then another half a tank. Alright, what else we got? Uh, the whole trip was 256 miles. So, not bad at all, not bad at all. <laughs> there we go, guys. We made it back. Two Hemi Commanders in the driveway. Only one can stay. The other must go. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our video. We got two Hemi Commanders in the driveway. Only one can stay. The other must go. We got a lot of work to do. A lot of parts to swap over, like this uh, jalopy. <laughs> uh, grill. What, uh, what is this? Mesh grill? Look at that. Two different style of grills. Look at this. Classic Jeep up and down. And that one's got the mesh. Is that uh, is that an Overland thing? I don't know. Anyway, we got to swap that. Some interior parts. Um, I don't know. We're going to lift it because, of course, I bought a lift for this thing and then it got smashed. So lift, stuff, a lot of work to do. So I guess stay tuned for a Commander series. That's a wrap. I am done. I am tired. I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next project. Peace. <laughs> yeah.